Good morning, Year 3. Welcome to Week 3 of our home learning and, of course, our reading for this week. As today is Monday, we will be doing our vocabulary laboratory, so let's find out what our word is this week. This week's word comes from the reading that we will be doing tomorrow. Now, in tomorrow's chapter, one of the lines is, I'm quite sure, insisted Mildred. And our word we are going to be thinking about for our vocabulary laboratory today is insisted. Let's briefly recap how we complete our vocabulary laboratory. We have got our word class. Here we think about is our word a noun, a verb, an adjective or an adverb? So is insisted a noun, verb, adjective or adverb. To define it, you decide what does it mean? So think about what insisted means and try to write your definition in your own words. When we swap it, we think about synonyms. So those are words that have a similar meaning. So can you think of any other words that have a similar meaning to insisted or insist? When we reverse it, we think about the antonyms. So those are words that have an opposite meaning. So what is the opposite of insisted? When we break it down, we write it in its sounds. So we're thinking about the syllables. How many syllables can you find in insisted? Where do the breaks in the sounds happen? As well as that, we need to write the word insisted in a sentence. This shows that you understand what insisted means as you can use it in a sentence of your own, not the one that I showed you from the book, which we will not be reading the rest of until tomorrow. Now to modify it, you need to make sure that you do the next two parts first. So you think about, are there any prefixes that you can think of for insisted or insist. That might be difficult. Can you think about any suffixes? Now to do that, you're going to need to change insisted into its root word because insisted already has a suffix, which is this ed at the end, as insist is the root word. So, Use insist and think about are there any ways that you could add a suffix to the end of insist to modify insist. When you've thought about which suffixes you could put at the end of insist, write the completed word here, such as insisted, but of course your words will be different because you have thought of other suffixes that you could put at the end of insist. If you get a little bit stuck with this, then your adults, I prefer it to be your adults, can have a quick look at my answer sheets or at the end when you've finished your work, you can compare your answers to my answer sheet, which you can find on the website today. Your answers won't be exactly the same as my answers because you may have thought of different ways to swap the words. You may have thought of different ways to Reverse the words, your, your word choices might not be the same as mine. Your definition may be slightly different, but hopefully very similar to mine. And of course, your sentence is most likely not going to be the same as my sentence. But your word class should be the same as my word class. And the way that you've broken the word down should be the same as the way that I've broken the word down. The way that you have modified insist may be similar to mine. You may have thought of some of the same answers as I did. You may even have thought of more answers than I did. It's a good way for you to have a little check of your work and check you've understood the task. I hope you enjoy finding out about the word insist today and I look forward to us reading some more together tomorrow.